Part 2 to downtown Finley Bridge and Maple Avenue area. Uh, that's the sandbagging for City Hall. And obviously that's going to hold because I don't think it'll get up quite that high. But the parkades underneath is leaking through the sandbags and all that fun stuff. Some of the sandbags are backwards. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know why there's a front and a back side to a giant sandbag. But whatever. Um... As you can see, like this is getting closer over towards the library on River Road. This is where it starts getting a little bit drier. It hasn't quite reached as high yet, but it's obviously still covered. And you'll see in a couple seconds here it goes up kind of close to the dry end of it. And... Oh, no, not yet. That's like how... that. The only reason I took this part of the video is because it shows like how fast that it's moving by how it's hitting that bridge there. It's just ridiculous. And some people got in shit here for standing in front of the fence. It was too close and too dangerous. Which I agree with. I think it was that guy that was getting mad. But still. Um, as I said, this is retarded. There used to be a road down there. There isn't now and there probably won't be for a few days. Um, if you watched part one to this, you'll see the other videos are kind of similar to it but it's just from different angles just so people can get a view at how it all looks if they haven't been down there already. There's been quite a few people down there, but obviously there's the people respecting the emergency crews, unlike me, I guess. But uh, That used to be a little intersection there, and again, it's gone. But as I said, if you haven't been down there yet, check out all the videos that I've posted recently, and you'll basically see everything you need to see of the flooding in Medicine Hat. I will be going down again in the morning to get some more footage because I don't think I got enough and the river hasn't crested yet. Thank you for watching. Check out the next one. Bye.